What's up, Lions fans, man? Um, just want to talk about a quick little thing right quick. Quick topic. Um, you know, Detroit Lions just beat the Packers, of course, everybody knows by now. Um, a lot of comments and tweets from the fan base uh, talking about if Crosby didn't miss the field goals, uh, the Lions probably would have lost. You know, um, look, I'm simply just going to say to you, I don't get down with the what if business. I'm not in the business of what ifs. It's a lot of what ifs in the NFL over years and years. How many, uh, how many what ifs has your own football team went through? How do you even say that? How does that even come out your mouth? What if they ruled that a catch from Calvin Johnson? What if they would have called that penalty against the Seahawks in the end zone for tapping the ball out of bounds? What if they would have uh, not picked up the flag for, for uh, the, the pass interference on Pettigrew? You know how many what ifs your team have been through? This ain't the business of what ifs. This is the NFL. This is the NFL. It's no such thing as what if. You know, how many times can we say what if such and such, such and such wasn't injured on our team? What if DeAndre Levy didn't do what he did? How do you even fix that to come out of your mouth, man? That is, that's very annoying. It's very annoying. Let them have their victory. What if? What if he would have made a field goal? Then what? Matthew Stafford, you put pressure on him. Uh, maybe he scores another touchdown. How do you know? It cha that cha It changes up the whole thing of what happened. He makes field goals. Lions decide to go a different route. What do you know? They, they go and score more touchdowns. How do you know that doesn't happen? How do you automatically just think the Lions are gonna lose because Crosby uh, missed field goals? Are you are you trying to escape the fact that the Lions force the Packers to kick field goals? The Packers could have easily marched downfield and just score over and over and over. You just gonna dismiss that, dismiss that, and just and go straight to the field goals with the what if bullshit? How do you do that? You just gonna just downplay the whole fact that they stop Aaron Rodgers from getting in the end zone multiple times, not a couple of times, multiple times. How many times did the Lions punt that game? Do you understand how many levels of football it is? Those field goals, yes, they could have played a part in the Packers getting more points, but it wasn't gonna guarantee that they was gonna win. It's a lot of different factors of football that have to happen for a team to win. Like stopping the other team from scoring touchdowns. I don't get it, man. You know what? As a matter of fact, I take that back. I do get it. Like I said before, you know, the Detroit fan base is one of the most miserable places to be. Obviously. Because we hold on to to history so much, man, it just makes you make people sick. The media wasn't even, you know, the media said that said it here and there. Oh, Crosby got a kick better, but they wasn't saying that was a reason that they uh, lost the game. They were saying Aaron Rodgers didn't play well. I know y'all, y'all, um, y'all, y'all, y'all watch first tape. I know y'all watch first tape. I know y'all watch Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Aaron Rodgers did not play well. He was not a great leader. The week leading up to it, he bagged on his own team. His energy was terrible. Yes, he scored a touchdown after the half. whoop de doo It's football. Okay. But that don't mean that the Lions automatically would have lost if Crosby missed field goals, up and made field goals. Listen, a team has to do things in order for the, the other team to kick field goals in the first place, which is stop them. Crosby don't just miss field goals just to be missing a willy nilly. He had pressure on him. After that first one, the, the, that pressure hit him. 
You know how many times, I mean, what about our kicker woes? You think anybody gave the Lions sympathy when we when we had uh, kickalicious out there in training camp from off of YouTube? We had YouTubers out there trying to kick the ball. You think anybody gave us fucking sympathy? No. So where's all of this symp sympathy coming from Lions fans? I don't understand that. The one team that shattered your dreams over and over and over, you giving them sympathy. Because basically, sitting up here talking about their kicker, if they kicker this, 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 and that, you trying to get them some sympathy for losing to us. You're the, you, you're the, the most disgusting type of fan on the face of the earth to me. Yes, I'm calling you out, and I don't care who get mad. So what? You are horrible. Flat out. Get a, get a Listen, get a life. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Get a life, man. The Lions won. We had to buy a week. We got Miami and Seattle next. Let the Lions rest up, get healthy, and do what the hell they got to do. We don't need you raining on everybody's parade with your negative, sick, putrid little thoughts. Go sit in your corner and mope, and mope and cry like you always do. I'm out.